What does it mean to live and walk in the shoes of a master chef? If you thought it was hard becoming a CMC, just wait till you have to live it every day. And it took a minute for it to really start to sink in um, because you're still riding off of that full eight day experience. But now I see you, you don't have the luxury anymore to use an excuse for something that did not turn out right. Um, you don't have the luxury of saying, hey, I had a bad date. You don't have the luxury of saying, oops, can I do it over again? People expect you to do it right and do it right all the time and at a very high level, which is what we signed up for. Hey, listen, chop up some of this shrimp too, okay? Yeah, little chunks is fine. We're gonna make like a little melee with all that. So what I'm gonna do is we'll get, put it in the freezer so it firms a little bit more, okay? Yeah, line it up really nice and tight, like you got it? Really nice and tight. That's a nice look, okay? Yeah, 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 looks good, man. You got the greens ready? Okay. And not only are you living up to those standards, you're living up to your personal standards, your personal reputation, and then also the reputation of the CMC brand as a whole. So there's a lot of pressure that, that comes along with this, um, but rightfully so. You, it, it's supposed to maintain, it's supposed to push you to another level where it's a lifelong, high-level standard that you live by. And so I welcome that day in and day out. It pushes me to be better every day, and it pushes me to give to others. And I'm not afraid of that, the pressure and the scrutiny and having people watch you all the time and you having to be careful about what you say and what you do. Um, I don't mind living that stand. I don't mind carrying that cross because I want to show others who are coming up, those young kids that's going to culinary school or going through an apprenticeship or just working a line at, at a restaurant, if you continue this path and, you, and if you believe in who you are and what you can do, it can happen because I'm, you know, I'm no one special. I'm just someone who was just very determined to one day make my dreams come true and it did for me.